She's like his native. How do you decide on these? Um, well, really, I decide things on what I want to see in my stock gallery, what I think is missing from my gallery, and um, also what what is possible for me to do, what kind of costumes I can put together. Um, it's really just a mix and match of different pieces and seeing whether or not I can create a character out of different things put together and then um, trying to find a story between those costumes. And also I decide on things based on what it is that I'd like to see in my gallery, what kind of stuff I'd like to provide. Um, I'm heavily influenced by books and by fairy tales and by stories and things like that. So um, really I just try to create themes that are in sync with with everything that I like, with what I'd like to see. Lady Earth 7, how do you choose your subject matter? Well, really, I'm inspired by different books or movies or stories that I like. For instance, I'm very involved with um, fantasy and historical um, myths and legends and also fairy tales and things like that. So really, I just try to make stuff that will be able to fit into or um, are similar to characters or subjects and themes from from those um, stories. Hey Lena, where do you get your inspiration for your poses? Um, well, I guess I've been doing it for quite some time. This is probably about my third year of making stuff photography, so you kind of get in the hang of what kind of characters pose in which way. But um, another good inspiration is um, my dance background. I, I did dance quite a lot when I was younger, so I suppose I have um, a good sense of how my body moves or how it expresses a certain feeling or story through a, a hand dress gesture or um, back posture or something like that, which is really helpful. And also um, background research goes a long way. I've noticed most of your poses are, are those of models, models you. <laughs> have you ever modeled professionally? You certainly have the beauty for it. How do you <laughs> decide your pose? <laughs> um, thank you. But I've, I've never modelled professionally in the past, except for one time. And um, it's something that, yeah, that, was that? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it's something that I have considered doing in the future on a more regular basis. Um, but really, because, I, because I've been doing stuff for a couple of years, I kind of have gotten used to how to, how to different how to pose in different ways or how different kind of characters will pose. I just kind of rely on that background knowledge and there are some certain poses I can just go into if I can't think of anything new, like like stock poses. <laughs> and um, Anything to inspire you at the start? Um, really, I didn't really know what I was getting into. I just had a couple of photos that I thought it'd be fun to post up and see whatever happened. So I just kind of went with the flow for a while didn't really put much effort into it at all. I kind of took some random shots of my sister and myself, you know, at home. And um, and then as I saw what was coming in from those photos, I got really excited by it and I started to, quite, um, to create more and put a bit more effort into equipment or lighting or costumes and research. And it just kind of really grew out of nothing. DJ Bunny 12, do you plan what stock you want or is it just go with the flow? Um, there are occasional pieces where I have to plan it because there's a certain costume that's required or research. Um, but usually it's just go with the flow. Usually I just start the backdrop and go into my costume rack and put bits and pieces together to see what kind of character I can create and then just mm -hmm. go with that. That doesn't take very much time. That's like 20 minutes or something to set up the character. What was your first stock piece? It was one of my sister. Um, that I didn't really take um, for purpose, for stock purposes. She had just come home and she was still in her school uniform and was standing by a window and the light was hitting her very beautifully and I took a photo of it for a reference for a school painting. And then um, I just tucked it on the net and voila.